Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's take a look again on the euro currency. Well guys, as you can see, uh, the short-term bearish factors that we have discussed uh, yesterday and in the current week in general now are uh, dominating over the market and although uh, we, has, we have seen the double respect of this support area, so that's uh, the confluence support, it's really strong support, we have seen that market has bounced up for up to the first touch when it has touched the second time again we have seen the bounce but the situation on the high time frame charts and the fund recent fundamental da data the speeches from the uh, European Central Bank uh, chief Mario Draghi and uh, the governor of the German Central Bank suggests a bit uh, possibility for the disinflation still the risk disinflations in fact are greater than uh, it was seen previously and that in the short term perspective have pressed on the market and we'll see that finally market has passed through this confluence support technically uh, we have suggested that because market has completed significant reversal pattern on the weekly time frame chart that should trigger at least the minor retracement but minor in terms of the weekly time frame chart stands right here around 136.65 136.85 area so the next destination point, as market has passed through this confluence support, will stand around monthly pivot point. Monthly pivot point hasn't tested yet until the next Tuesday. Market has the time to t still to test the monthly pivot point. And I think that it should happen. In general, uh, the minimum area that market should reach as the as the reaction on the weekly butterfly sell stands in that region. So, because that is the distance between the three support and monthly pivot point. So, somewhere in this area, uh, our short term and minor target will stand. Also, we have this ABC top pattern and 100% extension stands in agreement with this three eight support. I'm not sure right now that market will definitely will pass through the monthly pivot point and reach this area. This could happen, but right now, on the road to this level we have this support area. Maybe market will pass through it because as you can see market has pressed for the confluence support so I do not think that just the monthly pivot point will be the, some serious barrier for downward action. But we will see. Um, so uh, depending on how market will behave here we will be able to estimate whether it will proceed lower to this support area or not. But right now for today trading session we probably could count on the possible uh, action rate to, to the narrow uh, at 137 even that's the monthly pivot point on the forward time frame chart you see our butterfly that we have discussed yesterday also our suspicions about this stop grabber have been uh, approved by the price action so you can see market has erased this stop grabber because in fact the nature of this stop grabber was not in, uh, in some trap and some failure breakout of the trend line but that was just the reaction on the support because that is the confidence support that was the first bounce that in fact was the second bounce and just occasionally has happened that here was also the MACD predictor because uh, other words speaking the nature the core of this bounce not the stop grabbing itself not just the trapping uh, and the failure breakout or something of that sort that is just a reaction on the support that's why um, this, mar this stop grabber hasn't led us to the taking out of these highs and upward continuation. So that's now a pattern. Uh, what we have here, right around monthly pivot point, we have the significant support cluster. That is also the weekly pivot support one. And take a look. That is the minimum, the, the nearest target of the butterflies. 127, uh, th 127 extension of that move up. That's the first target of the butterfly. So that's the destination point. This approximately stands 50 pips lower compared to the current market, and that will be our target for the current trading session. What will, what we uh, will expect later? Well, we'll see how it will happen. If market will reach the zero just by the single candle, maybe we will be ready and we will 
count on the possible downward continuation mostly due to this ABCD pattern that's also possible but right now that's the primary object for today's training session that's the short term target on the hourly time frame chart we we'll see also that this is uh, also the target of this ABCD pattern A B C top D point 100 percent extension uh, maybe market will show some just retracement out of this so if market will reach it it will not necessarily mean that market will reverse to the upside maybe we'll see some reaction some respect and probably this uh, will happen with a high probability because take a look at this ABCD the CD leg is much flatter today's Friday and maybe after this uh, move to the downside market participants uh, will choose to take into some profit at the end of the week that also could happen Maybe we'll see the downward development only on the next week. So uh, that's been said. Probably today we will focus only on the 137 even target, and later maybe even on the next week we will uh, decide whether to be focused on power targets or we will see the signs that market will ready to continue move to the upside right from this area. We'll see. But today, uh, as I said, we will be focused on the monthly pivot point.